with a one and one record in the conference, Wisconsin at 0 and 2. But overall, the Badgers started with three wins before losing their first two games in the conference. Purdue comes in with a record of two and three. The big question in today's ball game: Who will start at quarterback for Purdue? Matt Pike relieved Eric Hunter at halftime of last week's loss at Minnesota, and there is question as to which Pike or Hunter will start today's game. And Jim Coletto has said he will not name a starter until game time. Wisconsin could go with a freshman starting quarterback, Jay Macias, who is also relieved of veteran Tony Lowry. Neither team expects to move the ball that well against a good defense of its opposition. We'll be back with the opening kickoff on the Purdue replay. It's Purdue against Wisconsin from ross Aid Stadium. Wonder Raisin Nut Brand is making such a big splash. Everybody out of the pool! Because it's the only fruit and nut cereal with raisin nuts. Those enormous juicy raisins dipped in nuts, then mixed with crispy bran flakes and crunchy almonds for one hugely delicious taste. The last one in is a big fat raisin nut. <laughs> raisin nut brand. Raisin nuts give it big time raisin taste. <laughs> How many pancakes have you eaten? No way. Oh, yes, she did, because Mom switched to Bisquick. They're light and fluffy, and Bisquick doesn't have cholesterol. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? She knew that. Bisquick makes the day's pancakes. Come on in for a meal with real cheese appeal. It's Tuna Helper Cheesy Noodle. Noodles, real cheese in the sauce, and your tuna turn into a delicious meal. Tuna Helper makes a great meal. With real cheese appeal. Purdue won the toss and deferred to Wisconsin, so the Badgers will receive, and that man, 22, Troy Vincent, is a dangerous return man. Eric Brune has it teed up for the Boilermakers, who will be kicking into the win. It's a high, short kick. Vincent won't have any shot at this one. One of the up men, Fair catches the ball, or did he Fair catch it? I didn't see the signal. And the Badgers will have it at the 34-yard line. Vincent averages 89 yards a game in kickoff and punt returns. He's one of the best in the country. So the Boilermakers will be avoiding him, if at all possible, with a kicking game today. The Badgers come out on offense. And the quarterback for them will be Jay Macias, number 16, a freshman from Montebello, California. Behind him in the backfield, he'll have 32 Mark Montgomery at fullback and 41 Darren Fletcher at tailback. They are the two leading receivers for the Badgers. Actually, Wisconsin comes out now with three wide outs and Montgomery the lone setback. Coming wide to the near side is Aaron Brown. Now they come back in the huddle. Number four, Michael London, and number two, Lee DeRamus are the other wide outs, the tight end is number 81, Mike Rohn. He lines up on the near side, up over the ball. 58, Joe Panos is the center. Chuck Bellin and Mike Bryan are the two guards. 74, Bill Maxton, and 77, Adam Tyler. Tyler Adam, he has two first names. The other tackle, on first down, the give goes to Montgomery. He goes up the middle and is slipped and dropped after a loss on the play of about two yards. Jim Schwantz making the tackle. Looking at the Purdue defense across the front, 73 Frank Komet, 40 Jeff Scanina, and getting the start today, 94 James Cole, the linebackers on the outside, 44 Don Delvey, 99 Peyton Minner, 55 Eric Beattie, and 48 Schwantz inside. Here it is second and 12, and the pitch goes back to Fletcher. He runs into Schwantz again, the loose football, and they rule him down. He was ruled down at the 36-yard line. And now the Badgers looking at a third down. We'll call it eight. The rest of the Purdue defense in the secondary, 23 Tank Adams and 22 Jimmy Young with four interceptions. The two corners, 28 Rick Smith and 29 Pat Johnson are the safeties. Third down nine Badgers from their own 36-yard line. Out of the eye. Macius, the fake to Fletcher, throws to Fletcher out of the backfield. The Purdue linebackers pursue well and stop him two yards short of the first down. They let him get open to catch the ball, but then close quickly. Beattie and both. Beattie and Schwantz both there on the stop. And the punting unit comes on. That means Sam Vite, a freshman from Racine, averaging 37 yards a kick. 
will get it away from somewhere around his own 33 yard line. That made it one formation for Wisconsin. Curtis Galloway is deep. Low snap. By a low kick, driving Ernest Callaway back to his own five. He fumbles and falls on it at the two. Unbelievable. The Boilermakers dig themselves a deep hole to start out on offense as Vite, with a little bit of wind behind him, drove Callaway deep, and he mishandled the kick. Well, coming out to start at quarterback for the Boilermakers, number nine, Eric Hunter. After... He didn't play the entire second half at Minnesota last week. The rest of the Purdue offense in the backfield behind Hunter sophomore. Jeff Hill, number six at tailback, number five, Arlie Connors at fullback. The tight end, Scott Green, he'll be going the length of the game today because uh, his alternate freshman tight end, Tony Simmons, is hurt and will not play. Here's Hill. He breaks outside. Jeff Hill gets out to the 10-yard line on first down. And the Boilermakers have a little bit of breathing room. Hill bounced outside the tackle made by Troy Vincent for the Badgers. Tedman Brown started at wide out. He comes out now, as does Burt Thornton, who also started. And Terry Samuel and Ernest Callaway come in. The rest of the Purdue offensive line, Bob Dressel up over the ball. The guards, Elvin Caldwell and Denny Chronopoulos, Derek Schmidt and Kevin Janiak, the tackles. And Green, the tight end. Second down and a short two for the Boilermakers. And right there, Arlie Connors has the first down. There goes the ball. Wisconsin is on it. And at the 19-yard line, the Badgers have the ball. Connors fumbled after getting enough for the first down. Recovering for Wisconsin, Reggie Holt. So two fumbles, a muff of a punt, and a fumble deep in the Boilermakers' territory at the 24-yard line. And Wisconsin is back on offense with 12-12 to go here in the first quarter. Gregory Giant, please call your parents. Gregory Giant, please call your parents. Tight end left for the Badgers in the eye. Aaron Brown wide to the far side. Macius looks that way and throws to him. The pass is incomplete down at the 17-yard line of the Boilermakers with Adams over there defending for Purdue. Jimmy Young actually defending. Now the Badgers send to Ramos to the far side. Wide to the near side is Michael London. To Ramos, their leading receiver, and he also has three touchdown catches. There's Fletcher. Fletcher gets up the middle. Down to about the 20-yard line. Taking him down there, Rick Smith and Jeff Scanina. Stopped by Scanina and Smith. Now the Badgers send two wideouts to the near side, one to the far. Fletcher the lone setback. Actually, it's Montgomery. Macius throws over the middle. A pass intended for London is incomplete. And the Boilermaker defense sets up a field goal opportunity. Defender. Defending on the play for Purdue was Jimmy Young. In to kick for Wisconsin is number 18, Rich Thompson. Thompson has not kicked a field goal this year. This will be a 37-yard attempt. It has the length, and it is no good. So the Boilermakers able to hold and keep Wisconsin off the board after the fumble at the Purdue 24-yard line. A good sign for Purdue, because they've had great problems with uh, holding the opposing offense out of the end zone after turnovers deep in their own territory. But the defense gets the job done today, and. We'll see if the Boilermaker offense can hang on to the ball this possession. Hunter brings them to the line with Callaway out to the far side and Brown to the near. Earl Coleman in now at fullback, replacing Arlie Connors. There's the give to Hill running up the middle. With a line of scrimmage just beyond the Purdue 20, Hill gets about five up near the 25-yard line. There to make the stop, Gary Casper 
for Wisconsin. Hill two carries now 14 yards. And again the boilers out of the eye. Long count. Hunter a fake to Hill. Now he's going to try to run away from the rush and he goes down. He picked up about five yards from where he was first contacted by the Wisconsin pass rush. Got back to the 24 yard line. It'll set up now third down and seven for the Boilers. Rodney Dennis in the game is a wide out to the near side. He was demoted to the scout team this week, but he's back here on Saturday. A key situation for the Boilermakers, third and seven. A twist stunt by the Badgers, the pass to Hill. Hill gets the first down. Out to the 39-yard line. Hill was used at flanker last year. Casper brought him down, and he showed good hands and open field running there as the Boilermakers pick up their second first down of the game. Thornton comes wide to the near side. Now Callaway to the far from a split backfield. Purdue first and 10 at the 39. Hunter wants to talk about it with 9.17 to go here in the first quarter. We never set the Badger defense. Let's set that before we go to the break. 92 Carlos Fowler and 66 Mike Thompson are the tackles. Lee Kruger 61 the nose man. The outside linebackers Dwight Reese 86 and Dewar Sharp 36. The inside linebackers two leading tacklers Brandon Lynch 60 tackles. He's number 42 and Casper number 57 has 56 tackles. Holt the strong safety is the leading tackler number 10. Vincent 22 and Eddie Fletcher 7 the cornerbacks and Scott Nelson 37 the free safety. Now we'll go to a break. 9.17 to go in the first quarter. The Boilermakers and Badgers scoreless at Ross A. Hi, I'm Terry Tincher. And I'm Susan Singer. We're back at Follett's Purdue Bookstore to check out the latest Purdue items. Follett's is stocked with loads of Purdue clothing. From sleepwear to fashion wear, look no further than Follett's. Follett's also has a complete selection of children's Purdue clothing. And for all fans, Follett's has sweats, t-shirts, hats, and jackets. Follett's also has beautiful rings, pins, and watches. For Purdue tailgate fun, pull into Follett's. So remember Follett's on your next game day. It's Purdue's game day center. When you were house hunting, it was pretty clear when a house was too confining to meet your needs. When you're looking for a home equity loan, you should be just as careful. That's why First Bank of Lafayette works with you to arrange a loan that's right for you. Whether you're planning a dream vacation or college education, your home equity loan from First Bank will give you room to breathe. So check us out first. We're First Bank of Lafayette, an equal opportunity lender, FDIC insured. After the timeout, the Boilermakers start again, first and 10 from their own 39. Wisconsin loading up to stop the run. Hill. Running off the left side, picks up maybe two yards to the 42-yard line. And Brendan Lynch, the senior fifth-year player from Hinsdale, Illinois, made the stop. On second down and eight, the Boilermakers send Thornton and Dennis wide to the far side with the fullback. Coleman lining up in the slot. Now he shifts back into the eye. Hunter looking, throwing, and the pass is complete or incomplete. We haven't seen a ruling yet. Thornton caught it up near midfield. He might have enough for the first down. They rule it a completed pass, and we will see now if they bring the chains on or give the Boilermakers the first down. He appears to have enough for the first down. Taking a look at today's officials, Tom Quinn is your referee, Lorenzo Clemens the umpire, the linesman, is David Whitvoet, Tom Hoffman's the line judge, Mike Sheehan the field judge, the side judge is Denny Freund and the back judge Jim Sherlock. It's a first down Purdue. Eight of nine yards, first down of the 50. Now 
Now Terry Samuel and Thornton come wide to the near side. From the eye. The give to Hill again. Pretty good hole. Jeff Hill picks up five again into Wisconsin territory down to the 46 yard line. Casper again made the stop, the junior from Downers Grove, Illinois. They give Hill four on the play, call it second and six. Purdue has moved the ball well against Wisconsin's defense. A fumble hurt them on their first possession. Now out of the backfield, there's Coleman. He has a first down at the Badger 35, run out by Vincent near the Purdue bench. Holt helped out, but Earl Coleman was open, and his second reception of the year, good for 10 yards and a first down. Hunter is three for three for 36 yards in this drive. Which started. Hill goes in motion. Purdue four wideouts now to the far side. The pass over to Thornton. He's going to throw it back to Hunter. And Hunter's open and there's blocking down the sideline. He may score. Thornton was a quarterback in high school. And he fired back to Hunter. And Aaron Hunter on the reception all the way down to the one yard. The Boilermakers going with one tied in, and Corey Rogers and Hunter hooked up in the backfield. They bumped. Rogers did not get into the end zone. As he bumped Hunter taking the handoff, he got back maybe to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and goal. Purdue without the extra tied end lining up with one wide out in their normal robust T formation. Rodgers, Connors, and Coleman, the three backs. There's Rodgers again, same play. This time he gets in. Corey Rodgers, the freshman from Chicago, Rio, scores his fourth touchdown as a Boilermaker. And Purdue is on the board after the trickery. They go with a robust tee, and Rodgers bangs in. Joe O'Leary to kick out of the hold of George Orgoric. And he nails it. So O'Leary is now 13 of 14 on points after this year. And the Boilermakers have a 7-0 lead. 80 yards, 10 plays. The Boilermakers eat up 521 of clock time. You can see the rush to pass balance. 70 yards through the air on that first drive. Broom kicked short the last time. Vincent standing on his own five. He kicks it high and short again. And this time, the Boilers catch the kickoff. Flag down. A Wisconsin player looked like he was going to catch, make a fair catch, in which case the Boilermakers can't interfere with catching the ball. They have to give him the opportunity to catch it. That's why the flag is down. Jim Coletto is talking to Tom Quinn. It appeared that Jeff Worth, number 45, a fullback, was signaling for a fair catch. Had the ball hit the ground before it got to Worth, the Boilermakers could have fallen on it. But the ball, as Worth signaled for the fair catch, was his to catch until it hits the ground. Houston Malden caught the ball before it hit the ground for Purdue. So the Boilermakers are penalized five yards and Wisconsin starts out from its own 43.
on first down. Macius throws out of the backfield to Montgomery. He slips one tackler. Doesn't go very much further than that, however. The ball came loose. But Wisconsin either fell on it or they were already down. Macius now two of four through the air for nine yards. Flag down. Possible Boilermaker lining up in the neutral zone. It looked as though Kevin Strickland on the near side was across the ball. We'll see what the call is going to be. It's explained to Barry Alvarez on the Wisconsin bench. And now the signal from Tom Quinn. The Badgers lined up wrong. And it knocks him back five. Now Wisconsin looking at a second down and 13. Going wide to the near side is Doremus. Macius appears to be checking off at the line. Now Purdue shifts its defense. The pass, and it's complete to Doremus. Good anticipation from Rick Smith, the strong safety. He was lined up deep and took off immediately into Ramos's area, but got there a little late to pick the pass off. Young made the stop, and it is now third down for the Badgers, and after a gain of five, eight yards to go. Forty-four, Jason Burns in now at fullback. Macius to throw. A screen set up on the near sideline to Burns, and the Boilermakers smelled it out. The pass incomplete, but Burns would have been dropped short of the first down anyway because there was plenty of black shirts around him. Wisconsin now 0 of 3 on third down conversions. The punting unit on again. And again, Vite will kick with the wind at his back. Calloway standing on his own 15, fumbled the first punt. Another wobbly snap back to Vite and a wobbly kick. Calloway just lets it sail over his head and into the end zone. So the Boilermakers, with just under four minutes to go in the first, will be starting again from their own 20. Based on projections from what the two teams have done thus far in the Big Ten season, seven points may be enough to win this game, but the Boilermaker offense looks to be pretty potent today. There's Tedman Brown on first down. The pass from Hunter, it's good for 16 yards, and Vincent made the stop. So Hunter has it hooked up today, at least so far in the first quarter. This is a Wisconsin defense that held 15th-ranked Iowa to 10 points last week. This is Coleman on the delay. Good blocking and Coleman winds his way up to the 43 yard line. A gain of almost seven yards on the play. It is a seven yard, eight yard gain. Call it second and two now for the Boilers. Rodney Dennis brings in the play, splits wide to the top of your screen. That's Thornton in motion. The give to Coleman. First down. Earl Coleman to midfield. On the play, Casper brought him down. Again, Thornton comes to the near side. Tedman Brown to the far side. Coleman and Hill behind Eric Hunter. First and 10 from midfield. Hunter gives to Hill, running up the middle. Spins off of his own blocker. Gets down to the Wisconsin 46. There to bring him down, Carlos Fowler, a sophomore from Pontiac, Illinois.
Coming into today's game, Purdue had four ball, three ball carriers averaging over four yards a carry, and two of them were over five yards a carry. Hill right now, 24 yards on six carries. Fumbled a handoff from Hunter, able to recover, get back to the line of scrimmage and fall ahead for a yard. So the Boilermakers averted disaster there. Again, Fowler made the stop for Wisconsin. It'll be third down and five. The Boilermakers line up in the eye. Callaway to the far side, Dennis to the near side. Hunter fakes. Hill, one of his intended receivers, was knocked down. Hunter running out of trouble, but he cannot escape the Wisconsin pass rush. In to make the stop, 57, Gary Casper. So now on fourth down and 12, the Boilermakers faced with a probable punting situation, but they certainly don't want to kick to Vincent, who returned 190 yards for a touchdown earlier this year. Now we've got a, haul, a holding call on Wisconsin. Illegal use of hands. Regardless, that's an automatic first down for the offense. Well, the first penalty of the game certainly hurts the Badgers. The Boilermakers from the previous line of scrimmage move it to the 35, 10 yards and a first down. Wisconsin's going to bring the blitz. Hunter trying to outrun the safety man. He does so and makes the, oh, the pass incomplete. The pass ruled incomplete. Callaway was down at about the 25-yard line and bumped out of bounds. Reggie Holt hit him. Raphael Robinson, the cornerback on the near sideline, was breathing down Hunter's neck from the backside blitz. Gary Samuel splits to the far side, Thornton to the near. And a misdirection, and we're going to have a hold. Hill's gone down the far sideline, but in the backfield, an obvious hold by Denny Chronopolis. He just tackled the Wisconsin defender that allowed Hill to get outside, so it'll be 10 yards from the point of the foul. So it'll move Purdue back near midfield. Make it second down and about 25, 23. They marked the penalty from the line of scrimmage. So it's actually second and 20 instead of where the hold occurred three yards deep in the backfield. So the ball's inside the Wisconsin 45. Hunter running the option, is stripped of the ball. Wisconsin's on it at the 45-yard line. Looked like Hunter had his face mask grabbed. Recovering for Wisconsin, number 93, Nick Rafko. Wisconsin with it first and 10. They shift the tight end from the right side of the formation to the left. 17 seconds left to play in the first quarter. New quarterback in now, Tony Lowry. The give to Fletcher. He's out across the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Where he is tackled by 91, Robert Harden. That'll be the last play of the first quarter. So Tony Lowry has relieved Macius here late in the first quarter. Wisconsin. We'll be looking at a second down eight when the second quarter begins after this break. No way. Oh, yes, she did, because Mom switched to Bisquick. They're light and fluffy, and Bisquick doesn't have cholesterol. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? She knew that. Bisquick makes the day's pancakes. The guys from Pop Secret tell me they have big news. They say their kernels pop up bigger, so they're lighter and fluffier. I say they even taste better. Pop secret. Perfect popcorn is our passion.
luxury. For a select few, it's a personal appreciation of elegant simplicity, of flowing lines and stirring performance. And for those few, Mazda has crafted the new 929 luxury sedan, the only vehicle in its class with dual airbags and four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes. The new Mazda 929 luxury automobile, now at Bill Andrews Mazda, State Road 38 East, Lafayette. How do I tell people Total Raisin Bran is better than Kellogg's Raisin Bran? I greet the incoming flight. Total Raisin Bran, more nutritious than Kellogg's, and people prefer the taste. Oh, that's a big one. They saw me. How am I telling people Total Raisin Bran is better than Kellogg's Raisin Bran? I'm sending a box to all my friends. Total Raisin Bran, more nutritious than Kellogg's, and people prefer the taste. They're going to love this stuff. To start the second quarter, Jim Coletto giving the Purdue offensive line some points of emphasis for the next possession. Purdue has outgained Wisconsin 137 to 23 total yards so far in the game. 51 on the ground, 86 through the air for the Boilers. Wisconsin held at just nine yards on the ground and 14 through the air. But we'll see if Lowry, the senior from Columbus, Ohio, who had been the starting quarterback before Macius relieved him, it put some spark into the offense. Wisconsin held under 100 yards and four first downs last week against Iowa in their 10 to 6 loss at home. Lowry, a 6 390 pound senior, a decent running quarterback. The threat of the option is definitely in the game now for Wisconsin. Lowry through the air, 47 of 89, four touchdowns and three interceptions. On second and long, he gives to Fletcher. Schwantz penetrated and made the stop initially. And then when Fletcher bounced off Jim, the rest of the Boilermaker defense pursued and knocked him down. A gain of a yard on the play. Let's call it third down and seven. Boilermakers go to the nickel package with Roman Batten, the fifth defensive back in, replacing Don Delvey at outside linebacker. Batten's coming up on the blitz. The pass on the near side, incomplete. As DeRamus went high to try to catch the ball, Jimmy Young defending. DeRamus had it dropped before Jimmy got there. And now Vite will have to kick into the win. A freshman kicker, freshman snapper, for Wisconsin, they've had some trouble with the snaps. The Boilermakers had a lot of men on the line of scrimmage. Veit's kick is going to go short. So Purdue should get good field position out of this. Well, it rolls down to the 20. So it's the same difference as if the ball had gone into the end zone. And the Boilermaker deep offense for the first time with the win now. And they've already thrown the ball quite often in the game. We'll see if they continue the aerial attack. Fights two punts with the win were 55 yarders. This one against the win traveled 33. Hill from the eye breaks it. A first down out across the 35 or 30 yard line after the 32. Reggie Holt there to stop him for the Badgers. Troy Vincent helped out. Purdue's been able to run the ball right at Wisconsin with great success. Two wideouts to the near side. Hunter's going to check off. Now he sends Callaway closer to the formation. The pass incomplete and a flag down. Thrown at the 36 yard line. And it might be another defensive holding against Wisconsin. The pointing, they're pointing at 25, Raphael Robinson, the fifth year senior from Jefferson, Texas. No, the Boilers had an illegal receiver downfield. Wisconsin declined the penalty, so it's second and 10 Purdue. Dennis goes to the far side, Callaway on the near side. And Scott Green, the tight end, jumped the count. 
That will cost Purdue five. Make it second and 15. Here's Tom Quinn's signal. On second and 15, the Boilers now put two wide receivers to the near side. Thornton along with Terry Samuel. And give to Coleman. And Earl Coleman gains five back to the original line of scrimmage. And that will make it now third down. We'll call it almost 10 yards for Purdue. Samuel and Callaway come wide to the near side. Hunter drops on third and nine, throws out of the backfield to Hill, and he can't shake the defender. Flag down deep in the Boilermaker backfield from where Hunter threw the ball, so it apparently is going to be a hold against the Boilers. Hill didn't have enough for the first down anyway. Wisconsin may decline it or take it, move Purdue back inside the 20-yard line. It'll be 10 yards from the point of the foul. And the good possibility the Badgers will take it and try to take the field position or just make Brune kick right now. He's got the wind behind him. So it won't make too much difference in field position, especially if he kicks it to Vincent, who's a tremendous punt returner, as we've already said. The Badgers decline it. They bring on Brew. And Vincent stands right in the middle of the field on his own 15-yard line. Brew kicks it low, bounces it in front of Vincent. He's going to try to return it, and he is smothered at the 16-yard line. So the Boilermakers come out good as Brew drops it in front of Vincent. By the time he can pick up the bounce, Purdue had him covered. Next Saturday. Wisconsin with a man in motion to the far side, Aaron Brown. The pitch back to Fletcher. Purdue stringing out the sweep. Fletcher cannot get to the corner. And he might have lost a yard back to the 15-yard line. The line of scrimmage originally the 17. They mark him in between the 15 and 16. Fletcher, a freshman from Hazelwood, Missouri. Doremus comes wide to the near side. Vince Zulo wide to the far side. Wisconsin's tight end on the right side jumped. That's going to cost them five. Actually, it was the offensive right tackle, Tyler Adam, the sophomore from Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin, number 77. Lowry a play fake, throwing from his own end zone, out to Fletcher. Fletcher gets back to the 15, and that's about it. Tank Adams there. Eric Beatty finished him off. A gain of five. And now, Wisconsin looking at a third down and 12. Batten again in as the fifth defensive back. Wisconsin needs to go to the 33. Lowry runs out of the pocket, and he will not get the first down. He hangs it up, and the pass is caught by Doremus. But Lowry, I'm sure, was in front of the line of scrimmage. He wasn't going to make the first down had he run, and I think he committed very early to running, got past the line of scrimmage, and then threw. Tom Quinn, there it is. Tom Quinn will make the call. It'll move the Badgers back. And also it's a loss of down. So the Boilermakers stand to get great field position out of the punt. Sam 
Veit's last kick went 33 yards. Purdue appears to be going after him, but they'll get good field position regardless. This kick is going to be way short. And did it hit a Boilermaker? Looked like it did. The Badgers are taking off with it as if it had hit a Purdue player. It looked like it had a chance. Henry Searcy, 49, is taking off with a ball. As Wisconsin thought that it bounded into a Boilermaker, the kick was so short. And Purdue will have it first and 10, where Searcy originally touched it at the 36-yard line. From the 36, 10-25 to go in the half, Purdue up 7-0. Dennis to the far side, Thornton to the near side. The give to Corey Rogers, and Corey is dropped in the backfield. Coming across to make the stop for Wisconsin, Jerry Huggett, number 64, a 50-year senior from Waukesha. This is Purdue's best field position. They started their first drive from their own two, the next three from their own 20. This one from the Wisconsin 36. There's Rodgers again. Rodgers off left guard down to the 30-yard line. That'll set up a third down and roughly three to go. Purdue one for one on third down conversions today. This is a third down and four. The Badgers still showing blitz. Rodgers goes in motion. Hunter throws and on the slant route. Good defense by the Badgers. 25, Raphael Robinson was there before the receiver got there. If anything, you could call Purdue for offensive pass interference there on the collision because the ball was coming right to Robinson. He just stepped up. And Hunter threw it where he thought the receiver would be, but the receiver was a step late. On fourth and four, the Boilers going to go for it from the Wisconsin 30. Despite the win, a 47-yard field goal is out of the range of Joe O'Leary. The Badgers still coming with a big rush, and they deflect the pass. Intended for Green, the tight end at the 24-yard line. Scott Nelson, a sophomore from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, was there to bat the pass down, intended for the Purdue tight end. Well, the Boilermakers completed their first five passes in a row. Now Hunter is misfired on four. Hunter hit four in a row. Burt Thornton hit one to Hunter on a throwback from the flanker. Two tight ends now for the Badgers from their own 30. Lowry throws to the wide man on the far side of the field and dropped after a gain of six was Aaron Brown, a junior from Newark, Ohio. 44 Burns, the lone setback. 84 Jim Bourne, a junior from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin, is the tight end on the near side. Roan is on the far side. Two receivers to the near side, too, as the ball's on the right hash. Eric Gray in at defensive tackle for Purdue. There goes the fullback. Burns gets up near a first down. Close to the 40-yard line. And they're going to mark him short, I believe. They're going to bring the chains on to measure. And while they measure, we'll take a break. 8-11 to go in the first half. The Boilermakers on top, 7-0. Remember the pancakes we had last Sunday? How can I forget them? They're still here. From today on, I'm making Bisquick pancakes. They're light, fluffy, and Bisquick doesn't have cholesterol. What do you think about that? I think. I love you. Bisquick makes today's pancakes. The guys from Pop Secret tell me they have big news. They say their kernels pop up bigger, so they're lighter and fluffier. I say they even taste better. Pop Secret. Perfect popcorn is our passion. Hey, we'll grab the tiger by the tail. We got a huge inventory of new cars and trucks. So come to Hubbard GM Center where we'll sell you a car or truck for less. 
It's Harvest Value Days at Hubbard GM Center, Monticello. Save on 91 and 92 Chevrolets, Pontiacs, Oldsmobiles, Buicks, Cadillacs, Geos, and GMC trucks. Get a free pumpkin when you take a demonstration drive. Save now at Hubbard GM Center, where Dick Hubbard always says... And remember, we'll meet or beat any deal or give you the car. The Boilermakers on top, 7-0, as we rejoin action here in the second quarter. Wisconsin with a first and 10 after the measurement from its own 40-yard line. Mark Montgomery, the lone setback. He gets the call. Pretty good-sized hole off the left side. And Montgomery gains roughly eight yards. Up to the, well, they spot him down at the 47-yard line. Delvey made the stop for the Boilermakers, but Wisconsin found a little bit of a soft spot in the Purdue defense and blocked it well and opened a big hole for the running back. Fletcher in now tailback. Lowry to throw. Looks to the far side and sails it over the head of Doremus. That was a nearly free play for the Badgers on second down and two. Now it's third down and two. With Peyton Minter coming in, pinching down from his outside linebacker position. Still two tight ends. Lowry the fake. Now he throws and the pass is complete to the tight end, Roan, down to the Purdue 30-yard line. Mike Roan, a redshirt freshman from Iowa City, who's got two touchdown passes this year, got open. Lowry froze the defense well with a pretty good play fake. And then Roan broke open on the route over the middle, down to the 30. A 22 yard pass play, the longest of the game for Wisconsin. Up the middle, and a gain of four for Jason Burns, another redshirt freshman. He from Chicago, Illinois, 5'7, 185 pounds. Second down and six. There's Burns. He doesn't go anywhere. Jason Burns. He's dropped maybe for a loss on the play. Schwantz filled the hole very well. Big play here for the Purdue defense. Dave Check is in it tied in now on the far side. And he's in the pass route. The pass hits the official in the head. It was intended for Jim Bourne. The official's part of the field. See the Boilermakers with 12 men on the field, counting Lorenzo Clemens, the umpire. Now Thompson to attempt the field goal. Against the wind, this will be a 44-yarder. It's not going to make it. The ball bounds at the back of the end zone, and Purdue takes over from its own 27-yard line with 5-11 to go in the half. The Boilermakers on top, 7-0. Purdue quarterback Jimmy Young getting his right ankle taped on the outside of his shoe. Apparently, he turned it, and the trainers taping it give him a little extra precaution. Rodgers and Coleman are in the eye now behind Hunter, who wants to throw on first down. Has good blocking, throws deep for Tedman Brown, and the pass is incomplete. 
and Vincent was there and was very close to face guarding. Scott Nelson also back defending. Hunter threw it just a little bit short. The pass tipped before it got to Tedman Brown. Second down, 10. The give to Rogers, big hole. Close to a first down. It's going to be a little bit short, I believe, out to around the 37-yard line. We'll see where they spot him. Lorenzo Clemens, who made the big defensive play for the Boilermakers, standing over the ball, and they move the chains. It is a first down. So Rodgers picks up 11. He has the game's only points on the touchdown. Wisconsin has missed two field goals. Earl Coleman has no room. The Wisconsin defensive front penetrated pretty well, knocked the Boilermakers back into Coleman's path, and he didn't have any semblance of a hole. Gary Casper, the linebacker, then found Earl and dropped it. Coleman with four carries for 21 yards, but his first carry went eight, his second carry went 16, so, or went six. So that carry didn't help his average. Here's Hunter on second down and eight, scrambling to pick up two or three, setting up a third down and maybe five for the Boilers from the 42-yard line. Ball at the 42, the Boilermakers need to get to the 48 to keep this drive alive with 325 to go in the first half. Hunter with good protection. Throws and there's Callaway. First down at the Wisconsin 38. Ernest is immediately sandwiched by Vincent and Nelson, but he held on. And Hunter breaks the drought of incompletions after he had thrown five in a row. Ennis comes wide to the near side. Callaway stays in the game. Rogers the tailback. Wisconsin showing blitz. Right up the middle goes Coleman. And the Boilermakers have the right play call there because Casper, the inside linebacker, moved out wide and blitzed. There was no one at home once Coleman got through the hole. Lamarck Shackerford, the nose man, had to make the stop on Earl Coleman. First and 10, Purdue at the Wisconsin 27. There's Rodgers. Rodgers gets down to the 11. Nelson stunning to the ground. Purdue's offense has dominated the first half. But they certainly would like to see more than seven points on the board before halftime. They're in field goal range now anyway. There's Rodgers. He gets down to the nine on a first down carry. A gain of about three. He was stacked up in the hole by Lee Kruger. Green's the tight end on the right side. Thornton and Dennis are the wideouts. Rodgers goes in motion to the far side. Hunter gives up the middle to Coleman. He ran into his own blocker. Bob Dressel, the center, was the first man to contact Coleman. So now Purdue looking at a third down. And about nine. They need to go inside the two for a first down. Purdue has two of its three timeouts left. Callaway comes back in motion. Hunter to throw. Has a man open out of the backfield. It'll be easy six if he could just stay up. Corey Rogers almost slipped and fell down after he caught the ball, but he got his hand down, kept his balance, and waltzed into the end zone.
O'Leary on to kick with O'Gorick to hold. Another 10 play touchdown drive capped by another Corey Rogers touchdown. O'Leary's kick is good. 53 seconds to go in the half. The Boilermakers are up 14 zip. A 73 yard drive in 10 plays. And the Boilermakers on the 10 yard touchdown pass from Hunter to Corey Rogers go up 14 0. See what Brune does with this kick. Purdue nearly recovered an onside kick the last time. This one is high and going to be fair caught by the Badgers at the 33 yard line. One of the up men makes the catch. And Wisconsin with under a minute to go, all of its timeouts going against the wheel will start from its own 34 yard line. The Badgers go with three receivers to the near side. Lowry throws to one of the short men. That's number 19, Aaron Brown. His second catch of the day only picked up two yards. The clock running at 42 seconds. Now Lowry to throw again. Way over the head of the intended receiver, Doremus. He takes a pop from Jimmy Young, who's back in after getting that ankle taped. And it is 28 seconds showing on the clock. And a third down eight for the Badgers. Burns and Montgomery are both in the backfield. They give up the middle. And this is Montgomery. He gets to the 39-yard line. The Boilermakers may want to take a timeout here and see if they can block the punt. That's what they want to do. Veit standing back on his own 26-yard line. The Badgers need a good snap. They haven't gotten great ones today. Boilermakers coming after the kick. Vite gets away a short one. It's going to roll dead somewhere between the 25 and 20 yard lines. The clock ticks down to five seconds. And Purdue may have one more play with the wind. They'll try to hang it up and go for the end zone. Wisconsin employing a straight four deep. And Hunter kneels on the ball. So the Boilers content after trying to block the punt to go in at halftime with a 14 nothing lead. A touchdown in the first quarter, one in the second quarter. And it's time for the homecoming festivities before a crowd of 42,944 here at Ross Age Stadium. We'll be back with the first half statistics right after this. Cozy fireplace or eight vinyl windows for only $54 a month. I'm Roger Hughes of Country Oak Construction. Now's the time to let us warm up your life with a cozy, romantic fireplace. Then keep that heat in with new insulated custom vinyl windows with energy-saving argon air and low-E glass. Choose a beautiful fireplace or eight vinyl windows and add elegance with energy efficiency to your home for only $54 a month. So call now. Country Oak Construction, where quality is our promise. Before you choose a body shop to paint your car, have they painted more than five million cars? Can they deliver this kind of work at a price you're willing to pay? Will the work be done at your convenience? If you don't know, you better get made. Across the country, it's the talk of the town. Folks disappear and things shut down. When hope is on. It's four o'clock, where's everybody gone? Get tuned in. Hope is on. Monday at four. The Boilers are on top 14-0 at halftime, driving 80 yards in 10 plays with 5.54 left in the first quarter. One-yard run by Corey Rogers, and O'Leary's kick made it 7-0. The big play of that drive was a 34-yard flanker throwback pass from Burt Thornton back to quarterback Eric Hunter that set up first and goal at the 1. Then, late in the half, the Boilers drove 73 yards in 10 plays 
With 53 seconds left in the half, a 10-yard pass from Hunter to Corey Rogers. Warriors kick made it 14-0. Total offense, Purdue, with 238 total yards, 121 on the ground, 117 on the ground, 121 through the air. Wisconsin was 77 yards at halftime, 29 on the ground, and 48 through the air. Individually, the Boilermaker running back showing great balance. Jeff Hill with 37 yards, Rogers with 36, and Earl Coleman with 31. Hunter is 7 of 12 for 87 yards passing. Thornton that one pass for 34 yards. The Boilers turned it over twice in the first half, or uh, they might be up by even more than the 14-0 score. Purdue has the option to receive the second half kickoff, which we'll have coming back after homecoming festivities here at halftime at ross Age Stadium. Remember the pancakes we had last Sunday? How can I forget them? They're still here. From today on, I'm making Bisquick pancakes. They're light, fluffy, and Bisquick doesn't have cholesterol. What do you think about that? I think. I love you. Bisquick makes today's pancakes. Come on in for a meal with real cheese appeal. It's Tuna Helper Cheesy Noodle. Noodles, real cheese in the sauce, and your tuna turn into a delicious meal. Tuna Helper makes a great meal. With real cheese appeal. Well, now, could you tell me his symptoms? Are you taking any medication? Have you taken your temperature? Uh-huh, well, can you walk on it? I think you need to see a doctor as soon as possible. Sure, I'd be happy to refer you. Why does Ask a Nurse think it's so important to put registered nurses on the phone? Because it's your health that's on the line. Hello, Ask a Nurse, may I help you? For health information or help finding a doctor, call Ask a Nurse, your source for health care answers. It's a harvest of values right now at Twin City Dodge Chrysler Plymouth. All demos are on sale with harvest of value savings of up to $5,900. You'll find over 20 91 Dodge Spirits and Plymouth Acclaims with cash backs of $1,500. See our excellent selection of 92 Dodge Dynasties with harvest of value cash backs of $1,000. This sale absolutely ends October 31st, so hurry in today for free apple cider, donuts, and balloons for the kids. Don't miss the harvest of values at Twin City Dodge. The Boilermakers will be receiving the second half kickoff. Callaway is deep along with Rogers. They'll be receiving a kick that will be with the win as the Boilers will be having to run into that win here in the third quarter. Johnson has it teed up. Kicks a low kick that will be returned. Callaway fields it on his own 12-yard line and breaks up the middle. Looking for blocking. He's still on his feet past the 30 to the 34-yard line. And making the stop for the Badgers was number 47, Eric Unverzacht, the long snapper on punts and uh, placements. Unverzacht made the stop at the 35-yard line first down for It's Hill and Coleman in the backfield behind Hunter. Arlie Carter, Connor started at fullback, but fumbled deep in Purdue territory on the Boilers' first possession. And hasn't played since. Hill gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. With a 14-0 lead, the Boilermaker offense may be content to play conservatively here in the second half because its defense has shown that it can stop the Badgers. Nope, the long pass incomplete. Terry Samuel was open at the Wisconsin 40. He had a step on Scott Nelson, but it'll be third and 10 after the incompletion. That's intended for Terry Samuel incomplete. The Boilermakers had a three minute time of possession edge in the first half. Dennis White to the near side, Callaway to the far. And this is Coleman. On third and long, the Boilermakers again running the ball on third down. And Coleman gets five. And the punting unit comes on. Eric Brune will try to kick away from Troy Vincent if possible. Father and Casper made the stop. Again at four yards, Eric Brune in point formation for Purdue. Troy Vincent is deep for Wisconsin. Wisconsin lined up with 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Brune gets a high snap and floats the kick short. Vincent cannot get to the ball. Takes a Boilermaker roll 
all the way down to the 20 yard line. The 21 is where they mark it. Wisconsin starting off with the win, but poor field position. Lowry brings them up to the line. And the lone setback for Wisconsin is number 33, Brent Moss. Lowry to throw. DeRamus. Hello, Eric Beattie. DeRamus was dropped after a gain of about three. Beattie came out quickly from the inside to drop the 6'4 freshman. Now DeRamus and Michael London go wide to the far side, and Aaron Brown comes wide to the near side on second down and a long seven for the Badgers. Pass is intercepted. Jimmy Young's gone. Jimmy Young's fifth interception of the year. And the Boilermakers defense comes up with a touchdown. Young returned it. 29 yards for the touchdown. He just anticipated Lowry's throw, which wasn't a very good one. And he got there quickly, made the interception, and took it in. O'Leary on to attempt, out of O'Gorick's hole. And the kick is good. So the Boilermaker defense with his second touchdown of the year. Jim Schwantz with the long interception return in the first game, a victory over Eastern Michigan. And now Jimmy Young in the third game of the Big Ten season, a 29-yard return against Wisconsin. And Purdue's up 21-0. The turnover still in Wisconsin's favor. The Purdue fumbles of the first half. The Wisconsin unable to convert on a pair of field goal attempts after those fumbles. Purdue takes advantage of the Wisconsin turnover in a big way. Young on the kickoff coverage team. And he may recover this kickoff, too. Broom will be kicking into the wind, and he's shown in the first half that he wants to kick it short. He kicks it high. Wisconsin, no fair catches. There's one finally called for and made by number 21, Rodney Shutt, back at the 34-yard line. Lowry, the quarterback, an interesting story. He was selling programs in the final year of the Don Morton regime outside of Wisconsin Stadium, Camp Randall Stadium. And when Barry Alvarez took over two years ago, he got Lowry to come out of retirement, come back with a team, and play quarterback again on first down. The Boilermaker defense, Frank Komet, stacks up the ball carrier back to the 32-yard line, a loss on the play of two, making it second and 12. Wisconsin brings two wideouts to the near side, one to the far. Lowry going to throw again. If he can get rid of the ball, it's intercepted again. He was hit as he threw, and Beattie has his second interception of the year. Peyton Minner hit Lowry as he was getting ready to throw, and the turnovers are even at two apiece, and the Boilermaker offense comes on the field. Eric Hunter comes on the field, leading the offense. And as you see Hunter come on, Tank Adams limping off, now coming off under his own power. He was injured on the interception return. Hunter from the eye, wide outs to the wide side, the bottom of your screen, the ball at the Wisconsin 36. And Hunter wanted to throw, he's still on his feet. Gets it away, an incomplete intended for Jeff Hill. Hill took a monstrous pop from Reggie Holt. That's intended for Jeff Hill incomplete. Hunter 
wearing those new breakaway shoes, able to slip the tackle. New defensive coordinator, Mo Ankney, as his club ready right now, the defensive unit holding Wisconsin to 78 total yards at this point in the third quarter and turning it over twice to the offense. It's second down 10 from the Badger 36. Wisconsin showing blitz, and here they come. Hunter gives the hill. He gets through the line of scrimmage and picks up five before being pulled down by Mike Thompson, a 6'4 redshirt freshman from Portage, Wisconsin. On third down five now, Purdue splits the backs, sends Dennis to the near side and Callaway to the far. Again, the Badgers coming with a blitz. Purdue picks it up. Hunter throws it away. It's intercepted. Picking it off, number 25, Raphael Robinson. So the BD interception goes for naught as the Boilermaker offense turns it back over. Hunter had to throw it quick because the rush was coming, although every man appeared to be accounted for, and there were no white shirts coming free. But Hunter saw the blitz at the line of scrimmage and obviously unloaded in a hurry. First and 10 Badgers, no scoring by the offense here in the second half, but the Purdue defense has put one touchdown on the board, up to 21 nothing. That pass complete to Moss out of the backfield. Moss, a sophomore from Racine. Eye formation behind Lowry again. This is Moss, this time on the run, off tackle. He finds nothing. John Sikora, 98, Trent Decatur, 39. The Boilermakers getting some second unit players in on the defense to keep the unit as fresh as possible. Now it's third and four, Lowry to drop. Over the middle, a pass caught, and it'll be a first down. The receiver making the reception out at the 39-yard line was number 85, his first catch of the game, Tom Brown, a wide receiver. First and 10 from the 39. Two wideouts on the near side, one on the far side. Lowry instead pitches back to the tailback, Burns. Good running room. Burns breaks into the secondary, slips at the Purdue 44-yard line. A good block by Chuck Bellin, the junior from Milwaukee, 325-pound guard. And that's the block that sprung Burns. Have a Boilermaker down. Get a 16 on the play. Officials timeout. Nine and ten to go the here in the third quarter. The Boilermaker down on the field is Frank Komet. In the fourth quarter, it is Michigan 24, Indiana 16. In the fourth quarter, we'll be back right after this. Remember the pancakes we had last Sunday? How can I forget them? They're still here. From today on, I'm making Bisquick pancakes. They're light, fluffy, and Bisquick doesn't have cholesterol. What do you think about that? I think. I love you. Bisquick makes today's pancakes. Chicken. Don't grill it. Don't frill it. Skillet! <laughs> With new Skillet Chicken Helper, it turns your fresh chicken into a great-tasting dinner that's a quick and easy winner. Try new Skillet Chicken Helper. Before you choose a body shop to paint your car, Ask a few questions. Do they care about the environment as much as your car? Hi, Mr. Pressman. The tourist is all set. Will the work be done at your yeah. convenience? Okay, we'll see at one. Are they preferred by corporations nationwide for dependability and service? What about experience? Have they repaired over five million cars? If you don't know, you better get Mako over. Install a cozy fireplace or eight vinyl windows for only $54 a month. I'm Roger Hughes of Country Oak Construction. Now's the time to let us warm up your life with a cozy, romantic fireplace. Then keep that heat in 
with new insulated custom vinyl windows with energy-saving argon air and low-E glass. Choose a beautiful fireplace or eight vinyl windows and add elegance with energy efficiency to your home for only $54 a month. So call now. Country Oak Construction, where quality is our promise. Colorado are scoreless. The Purdue training staff has moved Frank Komet onto the cart. Denny Miller was attending to Komet's left ankle. And Komet never made an attempt to get off the ground. They moved him from a stretcher onto the cart. And this puts a major strain on the Purdue defensive front because redshirt fifth-year senior Chris Burns went down last week with a knee injury, and he is probably lost for the year, and Komet's injury looks serious as well. So the Boilers' two starting tackles on defense are injured. And from the looks of things, the backups, Robert Harden, James Cole, Eric Gray, and John Sikora, are going to be playing a lot. Gray is in there now, along with Cole, flanking nose guard Jeff Scanina. Jim Coletta walks out to wish Komet the best. As the homecoming crowd of just under 43,000 gives him a hand. On the field now, Wisconsin, a first and 10 from the Purdue 44. Lowry to fake, throws over the middle. The pass caught, and immediately the receiver, Rodney Shelton, is dropped by Eric Beatty. He got inside the 40, a gain of roughly four yards on the play. It'll be second and six. Tom Brown comes wide to the near side. The tight end road now shifts to the formation, making the strong side of the formation to the wide side of the field. And second and six, Lowry to throw over the middle. The pass caught by Roan, and he has a first down at the Boilermaker 32-yard line. Complete to Mike the tackle made by Pat Johnson on the tackle play. On the play by Rick Smith. Aaron and Tom Brown both split wide left now for Wisconsin. Two tight ends in the game as well. And there goes the fullback, Mark Montgomery, the sophomore from St. Paul, Minnesota. He broke it off left guard. And the Boilermakers, with some reserves in on the defensive front, having some trouble getting to Lowry on the pass rush and also now being run at a little bit by uh, Wisconsin with some success. Wisconsin with 53 rushing yards now and 129 total yards. Burns is the lone back. He gets the call and he finds running room. Pat Johnson has to come over from the free safety Jason position Burns to bring down there. Jason Burns after a gain of about eight inside the Purdue 15 yard line.
first and ten or second down and two now. A long two. From the 14. Scanina comes up with a big play. And he drops Brett Moss for a loss. Back to the 16. Eric Beatty limped off after that play, and Ryan Wilson, 41, is in it. Inside linebacker, the redshirt freshman from Dayton, Ohio. Here's Lowry rolling out. Kevin Strickland in pursuit. He throws, and the pass is broken up by Jimmy Young at the two-yard line. Intended for Tom Brown. Wisconsin now down 21-0 with the ball at the Purdue 16, fourth and four. It's a big decision for Barry Alvarez. The Badger's going to go for it. 6.20 to go in the third quarter. Two wideouts to the near side. Lowry to throw. Purdue takes over. The defense comes up with the stop. Young with a big deflection on third down. And then Lowry, with no one really to throw to, threw it away on fourth down. Callaway and Tedman Brown split wide to the near side now as Purdue starts first and 10 from its own 16. Hunter gives to Hill off right tackle. Jeff Hill gets up to around the 19. He is collared there by Brendan Lynch and pulled down. Samuel and Thornton bring the play in. As the wide receivers. Here's Hill again on a misdirection to the short side of the field. He's able to pick up three yards. The Boilermakers running the clock down as we now have 5.20 to go in the third quarter. Boilers now with third and three from their own 23. Hill and Coleman in the eye behind Eric Hunter. There's Hill. On a straight dive play, he falls ahead and appears to have the first down out at the 27-yard line. Edmund Brown now comes wide to the near side, and Callaway in at flanker on the far side. The pitch going to Corey Rogers. He jukes a tackler in the backfield. That was near disaster for the Boilers. Coming across for Wisconsin, Lamarck Shackerford and Corey Rogers dodged him and got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a yard before he was taken down by Mike Thompson. Now Thornton and Samuel, the wide out, both to the near side. On the delay, this is Coleman. Earl doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage, and we have a fight. Denny Chronopoulos and the Badger across from him, Mike Thompson, and a flag flew. We'll see what that's about, whether it's offsetting penalties or whether it's going to be nailed on one team or the other. Here's Tom Quinn signal. We're calling it both ways. to make the offsetting penalties like hockey. They both have to sit out the next play and each team plays with 10 guys. Here's the blitz. Purdue picks it up. Hunter with some time. He has a man deep, but he underthrows Rodgers. Rodgers had a step on the strong safety Reggie Holt. Bruins on again to kick into the win. Badgers again with a full 10-man rush. Well, one of them was a little too anxious. 98, Yusef Burgess from the Bronx of New York came across. That'll cost Wisconsin five. Still make it fourth down and five for Purdue.
after the mark off. Here comes the Badgers. Brood gets away a high kick. Vincent has to call for a fair catch, and he makes it at the 32-yard line. George O'Gorick pops him and then realizes what he had done. He just tried to hold Vincent up. It's going to cost the Boilermakers a mental error by George O'Gorick. Vincent signaled for the fair catch relatively late, but O'Gorick had an opportunity to avoid it. Gorick's mistake cost the Boilermakers 15 yards. Wisconsin's going to start at the 47, their own 47. 316 to go here in the third quarter. The pitch back to Moss around the left side. The Boilermaker defense strings it out well. Moss can only pick up three before the black shirts hit him. Jim Schwantz at the bottom of the pile as he usually is. Eric Gray, the freshman from Joliet Catholic, number 75, and Robert Harden, 91, a 6'4 redshirt senior, 263-pounder out of Louisville, are the Purdue defensive tackles now. Flag down. Peyton Minner drops Lowry as he is looking for an open receiver. The flag flew at the line of scrimmage. If it's on Wisconsin, Purdue will certainly decline it and make it third down and long. If it's on the Boilermakers, they... Botch a great sack by Peyton Minner. The call is procedure against the Badgers, declined by the Boilermakers. Not a dead ball foul. They had too many men on the line of scrimmage. So now, Purdue declining the penalty, third down and 11. Double wideouts to the near side. Lowry to throw. Going to run it now. Needs to get to the Purdue 43. He didn't make it. He made it to the 46. And there he was brought down by Ryan Wilson. Veit will punt. Watch for the fake here. He kicked 255 yarders with the wind in the first half. Bad snap. But the little guy gets it away. And it will carry down to the one yard line. Wisconsin kept the ball out of the end zone and they back Purdue up ideally at the one yard line. You can't ask for a better kick coverage effort than that one. After today's game, you're encouraged to follow. The Boilers going with a robust tee. Ryan Grigson in. An unbalanced line. Corey Rogers Corey gets the Rogers call and pulls his way out to about the three yard line. The clock at 123 left in the third quarter. Rigson in at offensive tackle for Purdue right now. Hunter going to run the option. Cuts back. Might have a first down at the 11. Good run by Eric Hunter. It'll be close. They'll probably measure. It's hard to say just how far Hunter got. The chains will determine whether he picked up the first down. It appears he might be a little short. The chains come on. And it's a first down. So the Boilermakers with an opportunity now to continue to run the clock down and keep possession in the fourth quarter, take a three touchdown lead into the final 15 minutes. Boilermakers have lost their last two homecoming games, but they're in good position now in this one. Running from the eye on the 11-yard line with double wide outs, Hunter gives to Corey Rogers. He bounces outside, still can't find any running room. And we've got flags flying. Looks like a late hit.
Wisconsin had stopped Rodgers for a loss, but 15 yards for the late hit moves the Boilers out to the 24-yard line. And as they break the huddle, Dennis comes wide to the near side, Burt Thornton to the far side. With Coleman and Rodgers split behind Eric Hunter. The fake to Coleman, the give to Rodgers. Running the cross, and he gets up to around the 30-yard line. He'll be stopped short. I'll mark him at the 29. Quarter comes to an end. The Boilermakers have the Badgers outmanned and outnumbered as we head to the fourth quarter. Purdue is up 21-0. To automobiles, there's only one, Bob Roman. It's our Halloween closeout sale, and we're cutting prices to the bare bone. On Hondas, Toyotas, Lincolns, Mercury's, Jeeps, Eagles, Saturns, Subarus, Hyundais, and Mitsubishis. Nobody else has the ghost of a chance to beat our deals with savings up to $8,000. There's only one, Bob Roman. Our deals are going to get you if you don't watch out. This new water mattress by Strata has a money-back guarantee, and only Strata offers this individually adjustable support zone. A Strata water mattress is so comfortable you can sleep through almost anything. Aren't you glad you don't live in California? Strata, we're going to shake up the way you think about water beds or your money back. Artvark Bedrooms, State Road 26 East, Lafayette, 448-4450. Already. Hi. Hi. Here are your movies. Okay. And your freshly popped popcorn. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your movies. I will. Pizza delivery. Come back later. Flower delivery. Come back later. Balloon delivery. Come back later. I'm trying to watch my movies. Your most important delivery of the day, Video Land delivers. All Stouter back at ross Aid Stadium as we start the fourth quarter. The Boilermakers up 21-0 on Wisconsin, facing a second down five from their own 29-yard line. Thornton wide to the near side. Tedman Brown wide to the far side, and Corey Rogers in motion that way. We give up the middle to Earl Coleman. He fights his way ahead for a couple. Setting up a third down and three. Now Terry Samuels splits wide to the near side, and Thornton goes to the far side. Green, the tight end, left. Here comes the blitz. Hunter gets it away to Rodgers. First down, Corey Rodgers. Got around the linebacker. And Not Purdue five, keeps the ball and keeps the clock going after they move the Get chains. Rodney Dennis brought in the play. He splits wide to the far side. Now Hunter had some trouble with the snap. There was movement apparently before the snap. Cost the Boilermakers five. Purdue looking at a first and 15 now from its own 33. Hunter checking off at the line. Brown takes an extra split. Hunter looks over the middle and Green has it. It was a hot read for Hunter. Green picked up a couple yards on first down. From back from the original line of scrimmage, a total gain of eight. Lynch, the linebacker, brought him down. It'll be a second down seven now. Terry Samuel, the redshirt freshman from Houston Nimitz High School, comes into the game. Splits wide to the far side with Thornton inside of him. Hunter running the option. 
takes a pretty decent hit from the strong safety Reggie Holt, a sophomore from Miami, Florida. But Hunter gets back up. And it'll be third down now and six for the Boilermakers. The ball from their own 43. Rodney Dennis comes wide to the near side. It's Callaway to the far side. Hunter dropping, the blitz coming, he throws it away. In the area of Corey Rogers, but the Boilermaker offense has been stopped cold by Wisconsin in the second half. The only scoring coming on that interception returned by Jimmy Young, but the Boilermaker defense has likewise thwarted the Badgers. Rune to kick with the win. Vincent standing on his own 14. And Brune lines it right at him. Now the fun begins. Vincent tries to get outside. The Boilermakers don't let it. Five players had a shot at him. Rick Smith among them. O'Gorick was the man that finally corralled Troy Vincent. And the ball will rest at the Badgers six yard line. Double tight ends. Lowry got a throw, he gets it away, incomplete. It was intended for Roan, and Pat Johnson was in the area. Lowry just threw it really before he looked. Pass intended for Jim Barton. Eleven forty nine to go. Wisconsin's going to be hard pressed to get anything done from this field position. Lowry to throw again looking deep and overshoots his man Doramus who has been held in check pretty well by the Boilermaker secondary today. Came in with 14 catches and three touchdowns. But Purdue has kept him quiet all day long. Ramos today, two catches for eight yards. Third down and ten. Lowry again to throw out of his own end zone. Looks for the sideline. Has a man over there. But the pass after the completion, way short of the first down. Tank Adams forced the receiver out of bounds. And the Boilermakers hold again. Vite to kick to Callaway. High snap. He gets away a high short kick. Purdue just lets it bounce. Takes a Boilermaker roll to the 25 yard line. A 13-yard attempt by Sam Vite after a bad snap. Good pressure by Pat Johnson. Hunter brings him to the line. And they line up in the robust tee. And running off left at right tackle, the left side of the Wisconsin defense is Corey Rogers. He picks up about four yards as Jim Coletto now figuring that the Boilermakers just want to control the ball and, and ram it down Wisconsin's throat to eat up some clock time and put this game away would best be served by doing it with uh, this formation and three backs. Second down now and six. Again, Rodgers, again, good blocking, and Rodgers picks up four yards again. So four yards on first down, four yards on second. Purdue looking now at a third down, and a short two yards to go. The way Hunter has struggled with the Wisconsin blitz today. This move isn't all that surprising. Hunter running the option out of the robust. 
and he probably has a first down. They marked him at the 15. That will be enough for a Boilermaker first down. Hunter gains two yards on the play. And the clock rolls down inside 10 minutes and the Purdue offense one yard short of 300 in total offense for today's game. Lamar check for this down. First down at the 14. Wisconsin at 150 yards total offense. The Boilermakers out gaining the Badgers two to one. On first down, Rodgers picks up big yardage down to the 10. Now they go to the robust unbalanced right with uh, Dennis the wide out on that side. Rodgers goes up over the pile. It's down inside the 10 to about the eight yard line. And Purdue again now looking at a third down and three this time. Hill Thornton and Samuel coming in. Green the tight end as the Boilers go with a double wide out now on third and three. Wisconsin coming with a blitz. Hunter gives up the middle to Hill. He'll have the first down. First and goal for Purdue at the Wisconsin three. They got the Badgers spread out just enough with the formation that the offensive line able to make some holes for Hill on the strong side. And the sophomore got down to the three yard line, first and goal. Hill and Rogers both around the 60 yard mark in rushing today. Hunter trying to run the option to the short side of the field. The Badgers able to string it out and neither Hunter nor his pitch man Rogers had much option so Hunter just kept it took the loss of two back to the five on second and goal from the five Grigson the tight end left that's the way they run Hill with good blocking going to get outside powers his way into the end zone Jeff Hill's first touchdown put this one on ice. O'Leary to kick the point after. And the senior from Harrison High School in West Lafayette is now 16 for 17 in that department on the year. 7.23 to go in the game. The Boilermakers lead at 28 nothing. We'll be back with the Boilermakers kickoff after this short timeout. Install a cozy fireplace or eight vinyl windows for only $54 a month. I'm Roger Hughes of Country Oak Construction. Now's the time to let us warm up your life with a cozy, romantic fireplace. Then keep that heat in with new insulated custom vinyl windows with energy-saving argon air and low-E glass. Choose a beautiful fireplace or eight vinyl windows and add elegance with energy efficiency to your home for only $54 a month. So call now. Country Oak Construction, where quality is our promise. This is Mako's Ambassador Paint Service. Just $189. We professionally prepare your car. We chemically clean it, surface sand it, and give it a high-grade oven-baked enamel finish from over 7,000 colors. All backed in writing at over 400 centers coast to coast. Mako's Ambassador Paint Service. The best value for your money. Just $189. If you want high-quality work for this kind of price, you better get Mako. short again. This time the Badgers going for the return as Broom kicked it a little too far downfield. They still don't get it much beyond the 35 yard line as Corey Manley made the return and the Boilermaker kick coverage effort. He's done a good job of thwarting Troy Vincent particularly on punt returns. They've dropped him inside the 20 twice and on the kick return Vincent hasn't touched the ball yet.
Lowry back at quarterback for the Badgers. Hit as he got rid of it. The pass caught by Tom Brown. Eric Gray penetrated. Brown making the catch around midfield. Making the stop for Purdue in the secondary was Dan Brecky as he came back from the inside linebacker position. Badgers have it at their own 48 now. Lowry probably going to put it up on every down. Hits another tight end. Mike Rohn. And he gets to the Purdue 45 before being taken down. Trent Decatur was there. The Purdue inside linebackers now are Dan Brecky and Matt Kingsbury. Lowry a punk fake, hangs it up deep downfield, and too long intended for Aaron Brown with number two John Jackson defending. Jackson, the younger brother of Steve Jackson, the Purdue all-conference selection. John's a redshirt freshman from Carrollton, Texas. Went to prep school last season. Third down and three for the Badgers. And getting outside, Rodney Shelton, the freshman from Decatur, Georgia. He is out of bounds at the Purdue 33-yard line. The stop made for Purdue by redshirt freshman Brian Thurman out of Chicago. So the Boilermaker defense giving some youngsters some play in the secondary. The first unit played a great game, particularly Jimmy Young. Here's a pass caught by Doremus, but Kevin Strickland is there to tackle him after a gain of only three. After Doremus is taken off the field, the Badgers looking now to second down eight. Lowry throws over the middle. The pass caught by Jason Burns. Burns gains about five inside the Purdue 30. At the 27, Brecky dropped him. Wisconsin now with a third down and three. Double tight ends. Mark Montgomery, the lone back. He gets the call, gets the first down, but a flag flies with the line of scrimmage. Montgomery got down inside the Boilermaker 20. False start on the Boilermaker defense. Wisconsin declines. They'd certainly like to get some points on the board. Even if it is against the second string defense for Purdue. Lowry into the end zone and Batten nearly intercepted it. He tipped it on the goal line, looking for his second interception of the year. Roman Batten, a redshirt freshman out of Detroit, went to Bishop Gallagher High School. Lowry to throw on third down. And he finds his man. The pass caught the receiver, Michael London. Ran backwards. And that was second down. It'll now be third down. And it looks like about five. More importantly, Lowry is down back at the 30 yard line. Lowry's in obvious pain. Coach Barry Alvarez out there looking over his offensive quarterback. He went to Lowry after Jay Macius was ineffective in the first quarter. Lowry threw an interception early in the third. It really was uh, a big turning point in the game, although the Boilermakers 
We're up 14 nothing at the time. The interception by Jimmy Young early in the third quarter and returned for a touchdown really put the Badgers in a difficult position to come back and they haven't been able to. Field position has been against them in the second half as well. But Lowry has put up almost 200 yards in total offense since he's been quarterbacking the team. Now he's able to put weight on his leg, so apparently the injury is not that serious. Let's see who the Badgers bring in to quarterback. Macias is throwing on the sideline. Macias is the quarterback. And on the blitz, he goes down. Matt Kingsbury brings him down at the 25-yard line. It'll be a fourth down now and 15. Matt Kingsbury with a big play on the blitz. The younger brother of former Boilermaker great Tom Kingsbury. And now the ball at the 24. Wisconsin will go for it on fourth down, apparently. They'll be kicking a field goal into the wind of about 40 yards, and that probably won't get much done. Timeout on the field, 337 to go in the game. As you look at the left-hand column of statistics, Purdue with 187 rushing yards, 129 passing. Many of them came early in the game. The Boilermakers have been running throughout most of the second, third, and uh, what they've had here in the fourth quarter. But 316 total yards for Purdue, 190 for the Badgers. But most importantly, Purdue has kept the Badgers off the scoreboard as far as uh, getting into the end zone or getting field goals. Wisconsin did have two Purdue turnovers and opportunities to kick field goals, but missed both. And they have not been able to get into the end zone at all. Wisconsin's put it up 33 times today, and this will be the 34th on fourth down. Macias fakes, throws into the end zone, and he got his man in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. Aaron Brown made the catch. John Jackson was covering for Purdue. A pretty decent pass right on a post route. Macias put it as far out there as he could to give Brown a chance to catch it at the back of the end zone, and Wisconsin gets on the board with three and a half minutes to go in the game. And the kick up and good by Johnson. So Wisconsin will now give it back to the Boilers. And Hunter is done for the day. We'll see who quarterbacks Purdue after the kickoff. Both Matt Pike and Scott Hoffman, who has not seen action yet this year, were warming up. Three thirteen to go. The Badgers get in the end zone on the fourth down pass from Macias to Aaron Brown. The first touchdown of the year for Brown. The third touchdown pass thrown by the freshman Macias. Thompson kicks it high and short. And Callaway moves up to take the catch at the 33-yard line. A horde of Badgers try to strip the ball and pull Callaway down. His forward progress was stopped at the 33. And we'll see who comes on to play quarterback. Pike calls the play. The Boilermaker's likely to sit on the ball. Just run out the clock. Each team with a pair of timeouts left, 3.24 to go in the game. Pike has Houston Malden in the backfield along with Corey Rogers. Rogers runs off the left side, gets three yards, maybe four, out across the 35 to the 36. Second down now, and we'll call it seven for Purdue. Nick Mamula in now at center for the Boilers. Badgers showing the blitz. Lewis Smichael is tackled deep in the backfield. 
coming across to make the hit for Wisconsin was number 54, Todd Orlando. Now on third down and 12, we'll see if Purdue decides to put it up. Malden, Smichael again, the eye backs behind Pike. Smichael gets the call, trying to run outside, and he gets close to a first down, but he'll be about two yards short. Smichael coming in as a transfer from University of Connecticut. He's a sophomore from Farmingdale, New York. Brune will come on to kick. And the Boilermakers will give it up with 2.15 to go. Wisconsin with 10 men on the line of scrimmage come after Brune. He kicks it deep. And letting the ball bound into the end zone. A 59-yard punt 59 by Brune for the touchback. Well, there was a penalty on the play. Wisconsin was called for offside. And with a fourth and two, the five-yard offside penalty gives Purdue four more plays. Pike takes the first one, takes a sack back to the 41-yard line of Purdue. And the clock ticks down under two minutes. Well, with the win today, the Boilermakers will be no worse than a tie for third in the conference and could be tied for second, depending on the outcome of the Iowa-Illinois game, which is not finished at this point. In that game, Illinois is leading the undefeated uh, in the conference, Illini could wind up tied for the lead with Michigan at the end of the day. Purdue would be tied for third with Iowa. And the Iowa Hawkeyes visit next week. Fans should remember it's an 11.30 start, 11.37 kickoff because of national television. We will have our replay at the usual time, 11.30 next Saturday night. After Schmeichel got the big game, the Boilermakers looking at a third down and three. And there, a gain of one. It'll be fourth down and a long one. Purdue will just run out the clock. They don't have to run another play because the 25-second clock and the game clock are synchronous. 15, 14 seconds. Pike's going to bring them to the line, but that'll be it. Purdue can take the penalty, or Pike can just sit on the ball. This will be the last play of the game. Pike fumbles. Wisconsin will be on it. No, Purdue has it. But the final, Purdue 28, Wisconsin 7 as the game comes to an end. And the Boilermakers go to 2-1 and one in the Big Ten. The Badgers fall to 0 and 3. Each team overall is 3 and 3. As Jim Coletto heads out in search of Wisconsin head coach Barry Alvarez. Coletto an offensive coordinator before taking the head coaching job at Purdue. Alvarez a defensive coordinator before taking the head job at Wisconsin. And today the Boilermaker offense found a way to get to the end zone three times and the Boilermaker defense added another touchdown. We'll be back and recap it for you right after this. This Boilermaker moment is brought to you by Lafayette Glass. The Boilermakers have called ross -Aid Stadium home since 1924. The Big Horseshoe was dedicated on November 22nd of that year, named after Purdue trustee David Ross and George Aid, the popular humorist. The two men bought 65 acres of land and turned it over to the school as the stadium site. Ross 8 originally took six months to build with an original seating capacity of 18,200. Purdue beat Indiana in the dedication game 26 to 7 
and has won 65% of its home games ever since. In the last 64 years, the stadium has had seven facelifts, including its new coat of black paint for this season. Ross 8 is the largest stadium in the state of Indiana, with the current seating capacity of 67,861, established in 1969.